Lumbering golems blocked the path further up the mountain. They looked extremely formidable and unwilling to move unless by force. Uh, I still think we run it back. Even with Mirtha's, uh... Yeah, but she's the only one that can really heal herself, right? Fair. So, let's juice her up. And rally. Oh, and they're, they're gonna be punchy, so they're only gonna be hitting our front row. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get that group heal on. And they are critically weak to air. air. Well, Draco can still do nasty things to them. Well, they're weak to dark magic. Though. Oh, good. That'll do. Air two. Locking every time. Yeah, like these don't do unappreciable amount of damage. We're just gonna stick them out. Um, off a potion. Yay! Right, now we're in much better shape. Yay, tools! More money at the top of the mountain. Walking skeletons in arcane robes waited for them. They were likely expert magic users and bent on murdering every last one of them. Run it back. Um, expert magic users? Skelemans. What What is our like human army chance of beating them? Seventy. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe throw an army at them to like weaken them. And then fight them if they're gonna be dangerous? No. They're they're weak to earth and air. Um Saren. No. Do something. Sure. Hang out. These do um, not look like expert magic users. None of these look like expert magic users. Oh, the back row. Uh, there's a there's two mages. Okay. So that's that's our our focus. Yep. Uh, slow everybody down. Yeah. And do a whole whack of damage. Good job. Oh, yeah, that's, uh... Um... Yep, that'll, yep. that'll do that. Uh, that's, that's helpful. And then, uh... Yep. Just close that deal. Yep, that'll, uh, do a lot of good. Um, let's make sure we heal Loren before, uh... We kill them all. Agreed. Ooh. Yes, let's revive Loren and. <laughs> uh... Uh, yeah, kill the not slow one. Oh, yeah. Good plan. And then heal Loren. Boom. Now we can kill that. And we win. Hooray. Yay. And one more fight. Uh, Kambara will level up. Finally, Loren's army reached the top of the mountain. The soldiers wiped out evil, e every evil hive, den, and hollow. The brooding congregates were purged. Every demon dealt with, and the road to Foster Logger's castle was finally clear. They would have to find his secret lair within. At the gates of the t Twisted Castle, they feared what they would find within, and who would not walk out. It looks the same as every other castle we've ever been in. Good. Loren split the heroes from the army, and they opened the doors to the castle itself. Inside was the crumbling interior of... Why? Why did we building. not bring the army? Yeah. <laughs> just... Why? Oh, okay, we got here. Uh, now, like, now you guys just... stay outside. <laughs> There's only really Keep the car like running. Six. We're only going to be a minute. Uh, Everything will be fine. Apollo Michaud. Here we are. This castle was built upon the tallest volcano. It will only get hotter from here on. But the floor is icy cold. Yeah. We it's found that a earlier. terrible place to build a castle. Yeah. It, yeah, it's really irresponsible. I, I know I'm a fighter mage and all, but even I think this is a bit too much. Do we know where to go from here? Everyone look back to Mirth. That's behind a door that mortals cannot see. 
That's underneath her snow in the heart of the volcano, where the entrance is sealed with death, my Jack. I can sniff that out for you. The useless dark witch has just so many uses, it seems. Ah! Death is my middle name. And Susan. Kambara, Su great aunt. Not Susan, my, my great aunt, Death. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. He's right over there. She pointed at a solid wall, but smiled confidently. Then the will rush over at once. Are you positive, witch? Shut up. <laughs> Fine, I will kill Faust myself. Goodbye. <laughs> Kamara burst past them up to the wall. She looked back only once to roll her eyes and then easily slipped through the wall and disappeared. Really like Game over. <laughs> Well, shit! No, I'm not gone. Step through, babies. <laughs> it's easy game for babies. Why are you mad? It looks like Kambara was quite helpful. Saren cast a judgmental look on all those who doubted her, which was literally everyone. One by one, they broke through the illusory wall and watched, walked into pitch black. You know, I think I don't think Draco would doubt her. Fear her, yes. Doubt, no. Fair. <laughs> no, we haven't got any interaction with in the end game is Mesfit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Draco lit the tunnel with fire magic, allowing them to wind down through the tunnel deeper and deeper into the volcano. The heat of the magma was growing more unbearable with each step, but they pressed on, knowing the importance of their mission. Also, because turning around at this point would have been stupid. Well, the army's just waiting for them in the back. <laughs> Eventually, the tunny, the tunnel emptied into a room of boiling lava. Seems deeply responsible. Uh, what? Ooh, I'm gonna, it's got to, it's got to be gotta fast, be fast, right? Crikey! Welcome to the mouth of Inferno. Dora screeched and jumped onto Ramus. Who, who was that? I, I like the idea that, it, like, it's not like into his arms. She's riding him now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't see anyone or anything in the cavern, but a haunting voice filled their ears. I'm Foster Lager. Good day. Saren shivered, coming into direct contact with the greatest demon of all. It was Foss's fault that the world was falling apart. Shut no. strictly. Step out and meet your end. Let's just do this. Bone chilling laughter followed and seemed to bounce off the walls around them, but no figure was in sight. Where is he? He's cloaked in death magic! Kambara! <laughs> he's, he's, he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. You come and see him, he's embarrassing. So she's just, you just look back and she's holding Ray's arm. She's just like, no, 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 left. Left, left, left. Oh, um, yep, yep, yep. Go right there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, can you sense him, Kambara? I uh, cannot. This is weird. There's no one here, that I can tell. Then it is as I have suspected. He is not in this realm! I'm here, I promise you. I'm here and soon I'll be everywhere. Death will consume your civilizations. The fires of Everburn will fill your rivers and dry your sea. The world will return to how it should be, and the gods will have no one left to challenge us. You've done well in gathering the strongest in the land and bringing them straight to my hands. Well, I'll crush them, of course. No, your minions are few and scattered. We have decimated your forces. Demonic laughter sounded again. I live in a greatly flawed. You fools think you've won. You've yet to meet my, arm my army. The floor shook and rocks broke from the ceiling, disrupting their balance. What well, you feel is the rise of my kin. The rift between realms is widening. What? Oh, what? There's even more demons. No! More death knights! Crikey! The volcano shook again and everyone shuddered at Foss bellowing. He's lying. There, there are no more. We have him cornered so he has no other choice but to deceive us. All this earthquakes and lava shit is just bullshit. <laughs> but what if he is right? What if he really has another line of defense that we did not account for? And we Where would we find an army at this point? <laughs> at this time of day! 
Every I... army is bound to be closed. I mean, close. <laughs> he's, he's clearly lying. Cavern shook violently once more. Well, now's the dawn of our return. Erevon re returns to the hands of the dead. The quake did not stop. The ceiling began to fall apart around them. Watch out. So sorry. Where is it? Watch <laughs> out. The walls are crumbling in. Well, shit. We gotta get out of here. Uh, no. Loren. Saren dodged a large stalactite that crashed in front of him. Uh, come out and fight me. I can't believe she's still so... Loren screamed into the darkness, but Foss didn't answer. Loren, we must leave. You will be crushed. Don't you see? This is what he wants. Daughter, hurry! A booming crack above him shot Saren's gaze up just in time to see the entirety of the ceiling splintered and ready to fall. Time slowed. What you can't hear is that there's like this slow breathing. That is kind of creepy. Saren! Draco, go! No! Draco's defiance stuck, struck him hard only shortly before the rocks above him did the same. <laughs> That's a good line. Pro like that yeah, line. Props to, to the person who wrote that sentence. <laughs> Oh, damn. Uh, who is Tobayar? You're Tobayar. All right. Oh. What? Because I'm both generals. Elves have, sur Elves have secured the eastern range. Uh, perfect. With her Loretta and her troops straight up the middle, they'll have nowhere else to run but into the ocean. Get in the sea. Demons can't swim, can they? Dwarf ran up to the general, panting for dear life. What's wrong? Well, shit, sir, there's demons. Uh, more demons. You just had the Western Ridge under control moments ago. The east has fallen. The, the demons are overwhelming us. Samuel looked up and passed them to the distant armies. Waves of new demons were swarming the armies. The ground shook. Earthquake. More messengers joined with more distress calls and reports of monstrous warriors that no one had ever seen before. Everyone grew dead quiet, watching their armies fend off untold evils. How could this happen? I underestimated him. We're playing by his rules now. Oh, right. Can we win? Doesn't matter if we can or can't. We've come too far to quit. We're here to slaughter these beasts into the next realm, or we die. I won't live to see them take our homes. And then he was impaled by a shark demon. So we just threw our lives away? No, Tobayar! We're fighting for the lives that were already taken. Images of their once smiling chil- Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> their once smiling children flashed into their minds and pierced their hearts. Tobayar took in a deep breath and faced the city of the dead. Yes, we'll fight. We'll fight them straight to Inferno. I will admit that I poke, I, I'm poking a lot of fun at this, but if you rendered this scene and you saw it in a movie or a, like, a, like a, a voice actor video game, it would be fucking tense and sick as fuck. Yeah. It'd yeah, be no, really I, good. Like, here are three people that you've probably forgotten about. Now let's cut back to them after the ceiling caved in. One of them's probably gonna die. Oh, That's almost certainly. We're already there as far as I'm concerned. My bet's so on the minority. So let's show them everything we've got. Get back to your post. I'm going on the blue one because you haven't spoken yet. He's... Oh, that's mine. Oh, that's... A... No, that's Ashtray. Uh, oh, the one... yeah, the one... The... the one in the blue armor is the one that speaks like yeah. this. He talks like he's in a bad school play. <laughs> Saren took a breath. And then another. Uh, anyway, Saren took more breaths. He was alive. Or was he? Oh, shit. Oh, palette rotation. Pebbles. Yeah, they literally just invert the colors. 
Mm, no, that's a rotation. The middles would be bright if they were inverted. It's True. Very different. <laughs> Pebbles stuck to his cheek as he lifted his head from the cold ground. So here the ground is cold. Saren almost felt like he were in a dream. Limbs twice as, he as heavy. Arms are heavy. There's tears on his shirt, his, his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. What did he do? He was, he was still in a cavern. One that looked very much like the lair of Faust. But it was different. It was ethereal as if frozen in time. Except it was whole, like the ceiling had never crumbled down. It was also empty. Saren struggled to stand, grasping the really body. I really hope Loren is also dead because of Saren. Saren has to fight this guy in his own. He is He's so, so brute. <laughs> On the off chance that this was not the afterlife, he still needed to kill Faust, and that meant finding his friends. Loren! He hobbled a few steps in the glow of the cavern, his head spinning. Loren? Loren? Ah. Oh, good, they're so all dead. <laughs> Saren was startled to hear another voice. He whipped around to see Karen standing at the other side of the lair. Karen, you're all right. Where's everyone else? Where are we? Saren ran up to Karen, overjoyed to see her. She swung her spear directly at him, sharp tip barely an inch from his face. Who are you? Saren swallowed and held his hands up in the air. It's, it's me. Can't you tell? Saren. You're not Saren. You're an imposter. What? I've already met you. You're not making any sense. Oh my. Oh my, oh, it's Dora. Oh. They both turned to see Dora trapped under a large rock. It's crushing me. Don't just stare at me. Help me. Saren jerked forward to help Dora, but Karen grabbed him a hold of his shoulder to stop him. Things are not as they seem. Do not trust anyone. Dora started crying, so Saren ripped himself free from Karen's grip. Don't worry, I'll get it off you. Stop! Before he got a chance to even reach Dora, uh, her voice called to him from another direction. Another Dora ran into the cavern. New Dora. Don't go over there. It's a trap. The ceiling will just collapse again. She's lying. Don't listen to her. Saren staggered back, taking in the clone. Something was very uh, was wrong. Very wrong. Taking in the clone is my Clone Wars um, alteration shot. How can this be possible? Probably magic. Kill her. Uh, what? what? One of them is fast. The other one is... Uh, one of them is fast. One of them is trying to kill you. Kill her before she kills you. What? No. Help me, please. It hurts. Don't just stand there. Kill her. So I can tell who the real one is by the color of the font. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why, wow, I'm your friend, Saren. I'm the real Dora. I'm not going to kill anybody. I'm I... going to help the trapped Dora, because I'm a good person. Yeah. And also the trapped Dora is trapped. And... Saren ignored the other Dora's protests and rushed to lift the rock from the dwarf. Hold on. Watch out! Rumbling sounded overhead, and Saren knew immediately he had made the wrong choice. Interesting. Oh. You saw us coming, game. Dora under the rock became motionless until finally she blinked out of existence. Saren was shoved out of the way just as another large chunk of ceiling crashed down on top of both Oh no! Of the he yelled in horror. Not waiting for the dust to clear, he pushed through the new debris looking for at least one of them. Dora! No! He lifted up rock after rock and found no one. Where is she? She's gone. You failed her test. Saren panted, his heart now full of sorrow. I killed her. No, she, no, she's not dead. She's been removed from this realm. Did we leave our realm? Metal Gear? This is the Under Realm. A polymer show said that Faust may have been hiding in another realm. Faust sent us here. Or are we dead? No, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. 
If the undead can crawl out of the inferno, then so can we. Let's find the others. And we rise as new death knights. Uh, Saren charged toward a doorway in the cave, preparing to search every room in that underground lair. Tunnels connecting each... There was really no hint as to which of the, like... Not a bit. Yeah. Like, ignoring the text colors. But it did tell she didn't die. Mmm. The tunnels connecting each cavernous room were long and narrow, and the heavy-headed feeling of the dream world did not ease their passage. It took all of Saren's focus to keep from making himself sick, simply from walking through them. I will point out that um, in the in the things we uh, stole from Dragon Age, we now have the Fade. Mm. At last they came upon someone. Saren found Draco searching a wall and scratching his head. Draco! He called softly so he wouldn't startle him, but the mage sprang up anyway. Saren! The mage beamed ecstatically and dashed up to him. Saren was giving him a hug before he, he even realized what he was doing, or if this was the real Draco. I was so scared. I'm glad you found me. I've been trying to climb this wall forever. He held out his dirty hands. So I couldn't see another Draco anywhere. Is there only one of you? Uh, yes. It's not a bad thing. No, I just had some thoughts. And it really <laughs> Can you do any illusion magic? Sarah didn't have much time to consider if there was a game afoot, since time was running out. He ran into the next room, spotting a polymer show on the floor. He was sitting down, cradling someone in his lap, a younger woman, her eyes closed. A polymer show. He looked at Draco from the, from the unusually dark way he'd said the wizard's name. He looked back at a polymer show for a response. We are in the Underrealm, are we not? Yes, I believe so, but I was going to ask you, actually. You're sort of the expert. Paul Michaud nodded and then stroked the woman's hair. We're trying to find the others so we can get fast, like you said. The wizard showed no signs of getting up. Do you understand? We have to go now. Go on without me. Sir, this is my daughter. Paul Michaud finally looked up at Saren, pain in his every feature. No, you have to... Leave! Saren jumped away, he jumped from how scary the old man became. Mm. Paul Michaud, I... Why do you let him talk to you like that? Draco grew unusually angry, stirring even more worry in Saren. He's always bossing people around. He has always hated me. It's time I stuck up for myself. <clears throat> and the most calming words... Settle down. You have no concern to me, I now, young mage. I care nothing for the past world. I am prepared to surrender it all. Don't throw your life away for this. We need you. I'm just going to save our game real quick. Uh, seems like a good idea. I am totally content to save scum our way through this. Because if we have to do a fucking final boss fight without Draco, we are in some deep shit. Uh, fair point. Uh... I think Amukiki's more more important. I agree, but... De depends on the... Yeah, and, but I also think Amukiki is more likely to be someone we don't get. Mm -hmm. He seems less critical. There we are. But... No, I won't throw my life away. I'll give it to her. If others can return to the, from the dead, then so can she. That's impossible. Unless you're asking to turn her undead again... But that's dark magic. Maybe dark magic can be good after all. If it can bring her back, that there's it must a, be good. There's a world where this is like super poignant, right? Like, like there's a world where if Kambara was in this room instead of Draco, right? Like it would be this, 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 this huge moral turnaround where he's like, I would, I would sacrifice everything. I would, I would do all the dirt that I have to to bring my daughter back and Kambara the dark wizard is the one who like talks him down mm -hmm. right it was like, like, no, that would like be that's... amazing yeah like there's a difference between dark and evil and you are yeah like you you are about to fuck something up in a way that you don't understand but it will not make anything better for your daughter he's turned on us see 
We should have gotten rid of him after we, we were out of jail. Draco, what's your problem? If he wants us to leave him, then let's leave him. Do as he says, leave me. Uh. So, like, Draco is sort of obvious fake Draco. I think so. So I think we don't agree with him. And also we should probably stop Apollo Show from summoning... Yeah, whatever uh, the fuck. Whatever the fuck he's about to do. No, your daughter would not have wanted you to do this. Which is cool, but imagine that coming from Kambara. Mm. Right? Like, yeah. What? Abandon this fantasy or I will force you to. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in the underrealm. So escape from reality. <laughs> Saren pulled out his sword and stepped toward the wizard. Apollo Michaud placed his daughter's head delicately on the ground and stood to meet him. Stay away from her! Let her go. Stand back! Apollo Michaud shouted with great rage and grabbed his wizarding staff. You will not touch her! The old wizard prepared himself for battle. Draco growled and started to cast his fire magic. I warned you, but no, you never listen to me. Except for all the times you listen to me. We don't have to fight. Paul Show seemed to believe that they did. Ooh. Saren's still all fucked up. Got all these abilities. Um, just heal ourselves. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Single ones. Draco, and he's weak against ice. He's weak against being frozen. He's weak against being frozen. So we want to. Corrine gets a kill. Whoa, she doesn't. Oh, wait. Maybe. There we go. I surrender. It shouldn't have come to this. Thank you. Wait, what? Saren <laughs> blinked, not expecting gratitude. Paul Michaud turned around and did not see his daughter anymore. As I thought, an illusion only. His words were confident. But the wizard looked completely broken. He stood for a long moment, staring at the empty cavern floor where he'd set his daughter down a moment earlier. Draco was growling even more now, his eyes fixed on the wizard. Draco, what is... Uh, it's obvious, actually. Sorry, I for, forget I asked. Whose side are you on? Mine or his? Draco, I'm always on your side. Damn. He started to cast more fire magic. Saren ran up to him and shook him. It's over now. Apollomus shows no longer a threat. I need to fight. I need to kill. Let me kill him. The fire mage writhed in Saren's grip as he tried to cast his magic. Uh, fight Draco? I, I guess so. Let's hope we don't have to kill him. What? I will fight you if it will cure your bloodlust. You? you, 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 you? Yeah, let, let's go. Something about this place maddened Draco, and Saren needed to quell him. Saren readied his weapon while Draco's eyes widened in fear. Alright, Paul Michaud, get in the back. Alright, Karen, once again, get that uh, focus target, because it's actually good. Yeah. So. Um. Oh, Draco does way less damage when he's on the other side. Okay. Uh, uh, weak to ice. Oh, he still doesn't have any ice. Yeah, so we've got... Right, because his spells work like Draco's. Uh, we could try and just paralyze him. Uh, it's only 25%. Wait, wait. How much damage does his meteor do? Uh, meteor 1? 100. And yeah. then Karen gets to hit him twice. Yeah. <laughs> Draco coughed and crumpled to the floor, moaning. It's over. Do you still want to fight? Because I'm down. I'm I'm DTF anytime, my my dude. 
Fire Mage shook his head between the labor and breaths. I feel like he just, Karen just like hits him in the stomach with the butt of her spear and is like, Do you want to fight, nerd? <laughs> get up, get up. Why aren't you getting up? Why? What? Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Right? He chose to lie on the floor rather than stand back up when liberated from mind control. Draco? Fuck! Draco's vision started to fade away, shocking him. All Draco! Right. Now did you just roll on? I, I, I guess so. Alright, let's do it. He was gone. I, I killed him. No, he will be waiting for you at the end. Okay, so probably these don't matter a whole lot. Hope? Yep, hope so. By the end, I think, I, I assume they mean like before the final boss fight. Mm. Yeah, hopefully. Perhaps he's glad that you took him from his misery. Karen's just in the back being like, Nerd! The image of Draco dying at his feet was traumatizing. After all he went through, Draco didn't deserve that. But he also did deserve to kill Race's grandpa. He also didn't die. Yeah. He faded away. Like, it's just what happens when people die in this world. Yeah. I take it back. Draco, come back and kill Paul Michaud. <sighs> it's too late now. We must press on. But... There, will, there are more trials. You cannot give in now. Saren reluctantly followed everyone else out of the room and to the next. Miraculously, when Saren stepped into the next room, he stepped into a magical forest. Where? Shits of elves. A wailing startled him. In the midst of the trees was Mirth with a bundle held tenderly in her arms. Kill it. Ah, no! Mirth. What was that noise? Saren walked closer. He saw the wailing was coming from a bundle in Mirth's arm. It was a crying baby. Unlike anything Saren had ever heard. Uh, listen. Kill the baby. Kill it. I won't let you kill the baby! I cannot eat a baby! Kambara, is that a baby you want to kill? Listen, he's on brand. <laughs> I found this child in the forest! A wee baby! That's crying out for its mother! Saren blinked as Mirth smiled at the child in her arms. He's delusional. He's no child. He's a monster. Kambara pushed it, pushed it at Mirth's shoulder. Show him. Saren walked up to her and peered into the cloth wrapped around the child. He recoiled in terror. Uh, Mirth, that's a demon spawn. Ha, huh, told you. That's a baby! That's a wee bean! Ah, it's not done anything that hurt us! If it could, then it would. He's thinking nothing but violent thoughts now and forever. Ah, evil! How can you say that so easily? I once, I once thought the dark elves were evil too! That was wrong! I won't brand anyone evil ever again! I give that like, ten lines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is a demon. N not a dark elf. Literally a demon. Kambara suddenly reached out and tried to grab the demon baby from Mirth. So we gotta pick Kambara or Mirth? Uh, grab the demon baby from Mirth is my um, children's clown business that no one ever hires. It's my... It's no... <laughs> grab the demon baby from Mirth? Is my TED talk. Just gotta grab that demon baby, Ryan. When life gives you demon babies, you just grab them. Straight out of the mirth. Yeah, when mirth has a hold on demon baby. Dear God, no, 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 stop it. Ah, stop! I'll die before I see this child hurt! Okay, you first. Kambara prepared her dark magic. Yeah, no, Kambar is sort of in the right here. Yeah. Saren knew the demon baby was a major threat. <laughs> Mirth's judgment was likely hindered by dark magic. I'm sorry. Ah, no! Alright. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. Now you must face your greatest challenge. Oh, she's out of mana. Oh, we're just gonna punch just punch her until she's not a thing anymore. Oh, wow. Apollo Mishar just took a hit. Yeah. 
But she's weak against frostiness. He doesn't do frostiness. No, nope. but that's going to end this fight. Is it? You, no, well, it, in oh, yeah, before she gets to go again, yes. No Yay. 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 Merce wailing combined with the demons. Saren felt disgusted by what he was doing, but he couldn't let the demons win. Kambar disposed of the spawn in private. Oh, this is done. I'm glad you saw reason. I can't believe I attacked her. Shut up. You did the right thing. She was possessed and you knew. Meanwhile, again in the background, Karen's like poking Mirth with the butt of her spear, being like, Nerd. <laughs> the, the afterlife is great. Nerd. <laughs> this doesn't seem so bad. Are you sure this isn't Elysium? Give me your lunch money. <laughs> I am queen of the Amazons. Nerd. Saren nodded as he watched Mirth's body fade away. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna feel okay with any of this. We're all gonna be in therapy for a long time. <laughs> let's let's just move on. He left the illusory forest with a deep pain in his chest. The rocks of the cavern walls seemed to turn to ash, covering the ground with a fine powder similar to sand. When he entered the next chamber, he understood why. Oh, Misfit. <laughs> hey, Misfit. Misfit was standing in the center of the cavern, facing away. Saren was about to call out to him, but he heard a clicking noise to his side. He saw Ray crouching behind the rubble, aiming his crossbow right at Misfit. We choose Misfit. We choose Misfit. <laughs> Saren crept closely, t slowly toward Ray as the elf closed one eye to aim his shot. You need him. You need everyone here to defeat Faust. Ray continued to stare down his crossbow at his target. Uh, Ray, Ray? Quiet. Don't you see what this realm is doing to you? It's testing you. It's testing me. I can't let you do this. I've waited too long to do this. He's escaped my bolts too many times. He was my kill. I was supposed to take him down. But did I get it? Did I? Ray finally looked at Saren, eyes sharp as knives. Oh, that's interesting. This this is Ray's test. This isn't Mesfit's. Oh. I, I say we talk him down, right? Like, all right, like all right. Force makes people disappear. Yeah, he's probably going to kill Mesfit, though. You think? Yeah. All right, let's stop him with Force, then. Saren pulled out his sword. Ray heard the sound and stood up, trying to make the shot before Saren could stop him. Yeah, no choice. Ray's inner demons couldn't win. Yay. Oh. Yeah, well, Palma should only hit 20 hit points. Left. Yeah. We can probably use potions out of combat to bring him back up, right? Uh, I don't think so. Um, but we can whap Ray. We don't have any mana either. And we're, we're super low on magic, or on mana potions. <laughs> yeah. Um... We've got a lot of hits before... No, we don't have enough, though. Let's use a lower level one and yeah. take advantage of the fact that we've got several hits before he gets to go again. Yeah. Okay. We'll get one more down. There we go. Does anyone need healing? Oh, wow. up! Hooray! And better... Uh, so we started on Inferno. Yeah, so better Inferno. Which might be important if we're missing uh, Draco. Yeah. Draco. Oh, Kambar's Kambar is real close. And so is Saren. Oh, nice. 